Hey guys and welcome to another Pokemon the trading card game daily pack opening here at the games repository. Today we're doing X and Y Flashfire. Let's dive on in. First up we have C dot. It's a fifty health grass type Pokemon with a retreat cost of one normal, weak to fire. Call for family, one normal energy, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterward. Not a bad little card, particularly useful for uh, bringing up a small uh, army onto your uh, bench and uh, thinning your deck a little bit. Not a bad little guy. Next up Sneasel. This is a, a 60 health dark type Pokemon that we've seen in another pack. Not a bad little uh, little guy. Quite efficient abilities, particularly its icy wind, which puts your opponent's Pokemon to sleep without a coin toss. Next up, Ponyta. Again, another basic Pokemon that we've seen before. Reasonably efficient. Uh, Abilities, Flame Tail isn't bad, works well in decks where you have to uh, splash more than one colour of energy there. Not a bad guy. Next up, Sandile. Another basic Pokemon we've seen uh, from this set before. Its ability has the potential to do a lot of damage, but 50% uh, chance of doing nothing at all. Not so useful. Next we have Weasel, another basic Pokemon we've seen. Basic attacks, nothing too special. Quick attack has a 50% chance to do uh, 30 damage rather than 10. Not bad for 2 energy, but uh, not great having to take a chance. Now we have a foil version of Ponyta, exactly the same as before. Not bad abilities, nothing special. Here we have Drudigon. This is a 110 health dragon type Pokemon. Retreat cost of 2 normal, weak to fairy. Revenge. 2 normal energy for 20 plus damage. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack during his or her last turn, this attack does 70 more damage. That's quite a hard hitting ability. The potential for 90 damage with 2 basic energy. Not too shabby. Dragon Claw. 1 fire, 1 water, 2 normal energy, 80 damage. High damaging attack. However, its reliance on 2 different colours could potentially cause issues unless you're already splashing that way in your deck. Quite a high amount of energy, however you've probably already got the 2 null on it in order to use Revenge. Not bad. Next up, Protection Cube. This is a Pokemon tool ability. Prevent all damage done to your Pokemon. Sorry. Prevent all damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks it uses. Not bad if you've got a deck that utilises a lot of abilities that deal high damage, but also recoil onto your own Pokemon. Can be a really useful way to get around it. Not a bad little interaction. Next we have... Love Disc. 60 health water type Pokemon, with a retreat cost of 1 normal, weak to grass. Heart Wink. 1 normal energy. Flip a coin if heads your opponent can't draw a card at the beginning of his or her next turn. Not a bad little ability, especially if your opponent is fixing their draws to be uh, particularly powerful. Spike draw. One water, one normal, 20 damage. Draw a card. Good ability. Two energy investment for 20 damage, and you get to draw a card off of it. Not a bad little Pokemon. Next up, 
Pokemon Fan Club. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Good card. Deck thinning, while also setting up your uh, bench for your oppo before your opponent can hopefully get their set up. Not bad. From this pack, I think I'm quite a fan of the Love Disc. Mostly for its spike draw ability. Damage and drawing a card. Always fun for me. Until next time, guys. Enjoy. <laughs>